Okay, so last two of these, you know, multiply or divide, I always like to think the factor and cancel. So here's a um, bit of a bigger multiplication one, question nine. All right. Okay, so x squared plus 5x plus 6. So this one here I'll start with. That will factor to, is that x plus 3 with an x plus 2. So again, remember you're factoring from the previous videos from chapter 5. Okay, that was just factoring a trinomial with this nice simple x squared at the start. Two numbers that make 6 when you multiply, 5 when you add, 3 and 2. Okay, x squared, two numbers that make 18 when you multiply, that make 9 when you add. 6 and 3, you know, since I said 3, I'm going write the 3 first, right underneath the one that's already there. x plus 3, x plus 6, okay, that's the first one done. How about over here? Times. Right, the only thing I can take out of this, this one here is an x. Right, so I'll take an x out. And I should be left with, take an x out of that, you've got x. Take an x out of the 6x, you've got 6. Oh, bloody cat here floating. So I've got cats, the cat's there, and he likes to jump on me. Right, um, okay, so that's factored the top right. Bottom right, two numbers that make negative 12 when you multiply, negative 4 when you add. You know, there's always a clue in here. I bet you there's a an x plus 2 in it, if there's an x plus 2 at the top, but who knows. It's 6 and 2, uh, negative 6, okay, so x minus 6, x plus, oops, x plus 2. Is that that? Negative, that's negative 12 when I multiply, negative 4 when I add. Okay, so here we go. That's the next number. Okay, next. Now just look, I like these because you just look all over the place and you go, right, I'll do it. x plus 6, x plus 6, x plus 3, x plus 3, x plus 2, x plus 2. All that's left is an x over an x minus 6. Okay? Now do remember that rule. There's nothing here about anything changing round. You know, there's not that negative 1 rule, remember? x minus 6, 6 minus x, there's nothing there. I mean, it's, you know, don't think, oh, oh, is that it? No, no, just forget about that. That's the answer, okay? x over x minus 6. Great. Right. Now, the next one, again, look at it, pause it, I'm going to erase it. The next one, um, it's a division problem. So do remember this, and this is you having to know your division of fractions. All right, going back to, I mean, this is O3O 3 material. So whenever you have fraction divided by another fraction, remember, flip the second one, okay? Remember, flip the second one upside down. Keep the first, flip the second, now it's a back to a multiplication. So what I'm trying to say is that really, I'm going to flip these two, okay? I'm going to flip those two there, and it will then become a multiplication. So I'm going to keep the first one. I don't have to write all this again. So I am just going to kind of factor that first one. Now it is, recognize this one. There's all sorts of things. I think one we had, that one above there, remember this one up to the top here, that had a difference in squares, difference of squares hidden in it. This one here, top right, top left, is factor by grouping. Four terms, I am going to split it down the middle. Remember this from the factor by grouping? Right, what can I pull out of the first two? I can pull an x out. All right? Um, what's left is an x minus 2. So I'm going to have to factor this and then write it properly before I start to look at what I can cancel. Um, plus, keep the middle sign. What can I factor out the second two? It looks like a y. Is that y there? So I can pull a y out. And what's left should be, remember, an x minus 2. Remember these? So. That's the top left one, but I'm now going to write it properly. Um, okay, that, as in the proper answer for this is right. I can pull an x minus 2 out of those terms, and what's left is an x plus y. So, two, if you need to, go back and look at the factor by grouping videos for that one. I have just factored top left. The bottom one, I can take a 5 out. What is left? is an x squared minus y squared. Now straight away I can see that's the difference of squares. I won't do it yet, but that is the difference of squares. For now, all I can do is pull a 5 out. 
it's multiplied by now remember I am going to switch these so this is now going to be the top the bottom that was original is now going to be the top and I can see I can pull a 9 out of that and what's left is an X minus Y okay this one that was on the top is now on the bottom doesn't need anything to it it's just X minus 2 right <coughs> Okay, I haven't really finished this bottom left because I'm going to not have that. Remember the difference of squares? Square root, square root, 1 plus, same parenthesis, but 1 minus. If you foil that, you will get x squared minus y squared. Okay, so, so I'm not using that. I haven't really cancelled it. I'm saying that's not there anymore. I'm using x plus y, x minus y. Right, watch this x minus 2 on top, x minus 2 on bottom, x plus y on top, it's fun is this, x plus y on bottom, x minus y on top, x minus y on bottom, 9 over 5, I can't see, there's always, well, I don't like, I, just, I can't see what's left, that's it folks, 9 fifths, there you go, but remember that when you're dividing, flip the second one, they do all the factoring and cancel, alright?